Why, hello there, everybody. My name is Threatex, and welcome back to Battle Lord and my 100 day challenge. This is a direct sequel to my original video. Look at the top right of the screen. You can see it if you haven't watched it yet. Go and see it. I'm going to be playing it once again as Enver Gortash, and we're going to be going for 100 days. We're going to start off as the weakest king in all of Karadia. We only have a single city to our name, and I want to make him the mightiest king Karadia has ever seen, which basically means we need to make sure we get to a point where we own the most land out of anybody, any kingdom in the entire continent. But wait, everybody, before we go any further, let me know if you like this kind of content. Leave a like, leave a comment. Just let me know generally if you like this kind of thing. I will do more of it in the future if that is the case. Uh, I will also mention, everybody, that we are not using any modifications in this video. It is just me, Banner Lord, and, and the beta patch as well. Without any further ado, though, let's get started, shall we? On day 100, we only have the single city, Jacqueline, and also a castle to our name, and we're at war with the Batanians, my previous best friends in the last video. Now, I don't actually want to be at war with them, because I'd rather take down the Valandians, because the Valandians, everybody, are weak. They only have 2,716 troops. Most of them are peasants, and look at all this juicy land I could potentially capture. If I take out this entire kingdom, I'm already on, well on the way to becoming one of the most powerful kingdoms in the entire land. But how do I do this? I'm not a war with the guy I want to kill. I'm going to be a devious king, and I'm going to just swing the odds in my favour. So currently the Batanians are taking down the city of Sargot. I'm going to go and attack them, and we're going to, let's just say, speed up the process a little bit. The Battle of Sargot has begun. The Valanians have joined my glorious army in an attempt to destroy the Batanian forces, but they kind of uh, miscalculated because I, I'm not going to help them. I'm going to stay right here. <laughs> the entire point of this battle is to kill as many battalions as possible and also wipe out the Valanian defenders so that simply they get wiped out in a few seconds so I can capture the city from the battalions afterwards. I'm going to quickly set up and we're going to go and witness them get absolutely destroyed by the giant armies of Batania. I think they do actually have a quite a big one, like 360 dudes. Yeah, there's a lot of battalions to say the least. Uh, Valandia. You realize the enemy of the other way, right? They're very <laughs> like, wait, did that guy say he's going to betray us? <laughs> I think they may have heard me. Oh, look how awesome the Batanian ar archer line is. There's not many of them, but I still think they're pretty cool. Oh, there's look at these poor peasants. They're so screwed. There's also a lot of Batanian. Okay, I'm going to back up a little bit. There's they have throwing weapons. I don't want to get myself killed. Oh, there's one right there. Protect me, men. They're like, wait, why is an army just standing there? What if I can cat? Oh no. Oh no. I think we're okay. If I keep blocking, it'll be fine. To the safety circle. I want to get inside before it gets too bad. I'm pretty sure they've wiped out all the Vlandians at this point. It's just a matter of killing the Batanians now. Oh no. Be careful, man. Oh, that was beautiful. I love this sword. It's so fun. Also, remember, remember everybody, we actually haven't got any skills in this character. He has zero vigor points at all. He's a pretty weird build, but it works pretty well. Oh, this is going great. We're absolutely wiping them out here. I, what's that? I think I was floating for a second there. Hi. We're going to retreat. They've only got 70 guys left. You won this round, Batan. You're too strong for me. I have to get out of here. Perfect. So I think there's currently two guys defending the entire city of Saga, and I'm just going to simply leave. Thanks, that, thank, thanks for that, guys. Perfect. So, they do have a lot of units still. Um, now, the reason I'm going to be walk walking away a little bit is because we want the armies to come outside. I don't want to siege them down when there's so many of them in there. It's going to be a bit of a nightmare. Also, I'm pretty sure this exists. Another battalion army. I don't know why there's so many of them. They're absolutely everywhere. So it turns out I may have been sold a promise that was fake. There's no bridge in this battle whatsoever, but it's okay. We are currently outnumbered though by quite a few hundred, and my glorious infantry are hopefully going to hold the line here as we destroy our enemies. Though it looks like most of their army is just infantry, so it might actually go pretty well here. If you're wondering, by the way, why I'm not on that hill there, it's actually not part of the map. It's just it's for cosmetic. <laughs> it's a cosmetic hill. It's not real. Wait, who's this? Why's this guy off by himself randomly? Oh, he's so screwed. Look at all these arrows. <laughs> this man picked a bad day to go jogging. He's not even part of the battle. He's just out for a stroll. Oh, here they come. That is a lot of enemies. Hold, men. Do not throw weapons. Just use your shields and hold firm. I think we've got this in the back. I'm going to try and kill as many as possible. <gasps> oh, he died. I'm too hurt to do anything else. If I get killed, this strategy fails. I need to keep myself alive here. That went really well. We absolutely destroyed them. I did lose a lot of troops, though. Uh, when I say a lot, I mean 11. <laughs> Though not so good for my friend here, Meldo Kalfi. But it's okay. 
This is great news for us though, because we get tons of influence and more powers for Renown and stuff as well. And I've just found myself a ton of new troops. These guys, I can't fit into my army myself, but I got loads of allies with me and we can spread them all out. It's going to be glorious. Also, I'll say, because I've killed a few of them at this point, we're actually at a point where I could probably pass some laws if I wanted to, to get an even larger capacity of my units in the first place. So we're going to be pretty powerful to say the least. Speaking of laws, Royal Guard, ruler party size increased by 60. This is exactly what I need. And as no one else is in my kingdom whatsoever, no one can stop me from passing any law I want, which is pretty handy. The last thing I really want to try and do is in the last battle, I actually captured a lot of lords. Doesn't really help me much most of the time, but one of them is a little bit different, everybody. This man right here is actually a leader of an entire mercenary clan. Now, it's actually been a thing in Bandor for a long time that you can actually convert people to your side if you talk to them. I'm going to do exactly that. Why, well, hello, friend. Do you like me or not? Negative 33 relations. Not exactly great, but it doesn't really matter. And it's not, it shouldn't be a problem. I'll tell you what. If you join us, you can be set free. I am the rightful ruler of this land, of course. Perfect. Oh, that's really low chance. We might, we might do it. You never know. <laughs> oh, my God. Yes. It's working. YouTuber luck is pushing through here. Uh, I'm probably going to fail the rest of them, aren't I? No, it's totally fine. So this normally requires a lot of money, but a mercenary clan is normally pretty poor. So it's actually a pretty cheap affair to get yourself some map back up here. And just like that, I have just gotten myself an additional clan in my country, meaning that we now have two. Now, this does mean that they are a full clan, by the way. They're not even mercenaries. No, they're actually a proper clan inside my kingdom. So you're thinking, this seems ridiculous, right? Well, it, it kind of works and kind of doesn't. They are a real clan inside my kingdom, but they will betray me at some point quite soon. They normally do. As soon as things go bad for an AI kingdom, they will betray you and become a mercenary clan once again. And just like that, Sargot is ours. I've got to be extremely careful now not to press any buttons which might annoy my companions because they will leave in a matter of seconds and take all their troops with them. So we've got to make sure we appease my friends before they try and betray me. It's only been a two or three days. We've already doubled the entire size of our kingdom. Now, I was thinking I may actually try and go for Batania instead because we've already wiped out a lot of their forces and we've already got quite a few prisoners. End of the day, my character is Batanian. If we capture these guys first, it'd be a lot easier to run the entire country and I get more access to my favorite unit, the Fian Champion. So we're just going to roll in and we're going to start wiping these guys out. Actually, just sieging down my very first city in Batania. We've got to try and be quick though, everybody. If you don't realize, they got catapults. And what do catapults do? They ruin your day. <laughs> they destroy everything you hold dear. So the plan is going to be quite simple. We're going to run forward as fast as possible. And we're going to sit under the gates, making their rams completely useless. Rams, I mean catapults. You know what I mean. It's totally fine. Uh, okay, now there's going to be a lot of them, by the way. They have 100, oh, 553 units. It's a bit ridiculous. Now I'm going to use this the brute force method, which is literally me just standing outside the walls. And we shoot and kill. What the hell is going on over there? <laughs> What are you guys doing? We're going to shoot and kill every single defender we can see from down here. It's going to work out pretty well. At least I hope so anyway. It's actually so... Look at all these throwing weapons. There's so many battalions they can't even stand properly. Wait, guys, that's not the mission. We're going to be shooting people here. I've actually had to split my group in half, though, because there's just so many units. I can't get them all in one location. What is happening over here? It's just so cursed. Do you know what? I kind of want to go inside. The lemming battalions have led the way for me. Out my way, friends. I'm going in. Oh, that got one of badass. That guy landed like a hero. Oh, hi. They're coming to me, apparently. Why, hello there. Don't mind me, friend. Just get myself some extra kills. You gotta love it when the enemy just decides to jump off the walls around me to try and kill you here. Oh, I think I just sound my way in. You fools. Oh, I'm gonna get killed, though. Go, 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 go. I've done it. I can't believe this. I thought this was, like, way too defended. Why, hello, main gate. Nice to see you here. Sorry, that guy had to die. Oh no, the hero jumpers are coming. Oh, men, into the oh, don't don't swing it. Inside the castle. Go go go, men, go go go. They closed the gate, didn't they? I heard it. The damn hero man. Oh guys, whatever you do, do not go up the ladders. The ladders are cursed. Trust me. Follow me into the castle, men. No, don't attack. Just get over here. They're the, the, the using the beer patch. It's a little bit broken, but it's fine. We can make do. Ah, welcome, my army, to your brand new home. This is excellent. This is exactly what I wanted. 
Oh, there's a lot of defenders there. What have I done? We made a mistake, everybody. Pull back. <laughs> archers, help me. Oh, no. It's okay. I've got my archers inside. They can help us from here. Actually, it worked out really well. I like how the veteran guys stay back. Only the peasants went forward there. Yeah. What? How are you even doing this, sir? <laughs> He's found himself in a strange position. Victory. I'll take that, I will. I think we're going to level up our clan rank a little bit soon, everybody. It's a, it's a bit of a, a bit of a power play. Oh, I also just captured loads more units as well. This is going so well. I actually, I didn't put it on the video. I actually rescued another 200 Valandians from another Batanian army earlier. We've got a lot of units right now, to say the least, but not many level ups, weirdly. My first Batanian city. Of course, we're going to show mercy on this one because we have no other choice and my guys won't get upset about that. Now, I've got some money in the bank. We're going to go and talk to some of the party leaders. So I already know that I captured a ton of them. We have quite a few lords running around with us. And if I can get one of them to betray Cowdog and join me, we'll be even quicker to becoming a super kingdom. So luckily we have Pinador here, who's actually one of the clan leaders. Now, I don't think he, he actually kind of likes me because I used to be his friend, which means if we're lucky, we might be able to convince him to join us. 90%. Oh, this is going so well. I have actually just sold a bunch of stuff as well to get a little bit more money. And I'm pretty sure we might be able to pay him off to join our faction. This guy is a monster, by the way. He is a tier four clan. He's got tons of stuff going for him. He's going to be a great access. Come on. Wait, what should I say? Um... Cowdog is not known for keeping his word. It worked. I don't actually know if that's true or not. We're just waffling right now, but it's working. Very well, you've convinced me. Join us. Does this guy actually have a territory already? I'm not sure, but we are definitely going to give him all our money to get way more units in our glorious kingdom. And just like that, we've actually just captured a brand new castle. Well, it's all the way over there, but we got one. The other guys, we probably want to try and recruit as well. But for now, they're going to probably be too expensive to get to join us. So we'll probably just let them go and we'll try and recruit them a bit later. Kai King Kaldok himself. Now, I must admit, I didn't think he used a horse. I'm very confused, but I want to see if I can take him down in single combat. So I'm going to go up. To, wait, is he just... What is he doing? Has he got javelins? I'm... Oh, he has! What kind of high king is this? <laughs> Inventory! Absorb him! Ah, oh, he ran away. <laughs> I was going to say, it'd be amazing if they just ran into him. Oh, that was a beautiful headshot. Oh, I can get him. Get him, get him, get him. Oh, the high king's down. <laughs> so much for that guy. I will say, even though things are going pretty well so far, we're on day seven, by the way. Um, I'm running out of archers. The amount of sieges I've been doing, they've been dying off in droves, which is not exactly brilliant. I'm actually going to see if we can use some infantry for a little bit to get them to level up, because uh, they're not putting their weight. It's just the archers doing all the killing here. I don't know how I've done this, but I've kind of single-handedly captured this part of this siege. I don't know how. Um, <laughs> now I've got those explosives. Oh my god, look at that firepower. I'm kind of breaking into the enemy castle right now. I was going to go for the gate, then I realized I could just use explosive attacks instead, which is way more fun. Get rid of that guy. Don't mind me, friends. Let's get rid of this guy as well. There's quite so many peasants, unfortunately. Is this like I'm losing, by the way? Well, kind of. Uh oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Back off, guys. Back off. It's a day 110 and do things that desperate for this city right here. We've got 26 defendants against 863. I'm going to break him with my army, but even then, it's looking pretty dodgy. Can we win this siege? Out my way, I will take control of this. Oh, look how many there are. Believe! I think that's too high. No, it was too high, damn it. Okay, we've got to try and do better. Oh, it's just loads that can go. Fire! Oh my god. <laughs> Look at my levels! I was level 30 engineering before this, by the way. It's absolutely ridiculous. I can't even see where the ram is anymore. Okay, I'm definitely hitting it. That's a lot of damage. I reckon we could do this. I like how I can run off to the side here if I wanted to. I think it's dead. No, I'm still hurting it. If they get into that gate, I think we've lost, by the way. So we've got to be a bit careful here. That sounded good. Is it gone? No, it's, it's, they're doing it, they're doing it. We might have to go for plan B, everybody. It looks like they're about to get inside. It's okay, I'll take this with me. I think if I go down here, I can actually get into the main gate section. Why, hello, friends. Are they coming in? Oh, they're still doing it. Wait, I have a chance. Quickly. Can I throw this? This is going to be really risky. Do not do this. I'm so, I'm so sorry. 
I thought I was doing something amazing. Wait, they're retreating? Wait, what's happened? Wait, we won? Oh. Oh, that's out great. <laughs> I lost 11 guys and we killed like... <gasps> no, I killed somebody. Well, I kind of want to recruit all the battalions. That's actually kind of sad, but we, we survived. In the dark of depths of my dungeon, it looks like we've captured ourselves some enemy lords. What are you doing? Are you digging a tunnel with a spoon? I knew it. What? Oh, you're actually okay? I feel kind of bad. So get a medic! <laughs> I feel awful! Uh, no, I actually want- I'm here to talk to somebody specifically. Uh, is it you? No, it's not you. It's you. Stop there. Who are you? Wait, you don't know who I- I've been fighting with you for like a hundred days. How do you not know who I am? Anyway, we found ourselves a clan leader. I feel really bad because apparently we've killed two of the people. <laughs> Why is this one clan being singled out? Uh, I think. Wait, I can't actually convince him to. Oh, that's unfortunate. What do you want? <laughs> what the hell's going on? On the 10th day of autumn, 1085, a child was born to Kareen. His father, none other. Gortash, if I can see it. There I am. Perfect. I just had a kid. Uh, this will probably not grow up in time to be in the video as a warrior, but we have a baby, everybody. A baby. It's actually day 121. We're about to attack Senon, one of the, well, the second to last Italian city. Now, I thought things were going pretty well, though I must admit, these catapults are doing a lot of damage, so it's kind of hard to try and avoid them at times, but we're doing a good job here. I love my strategy is just walking in and then shooting the enemy until they run out of units. I mean, we are outnumbered quite a bit here, but have you seen how many crossbowmen and champions I have? It's um, a bit ridiculous to say the least. Though of course, this is a pretty dangerous way of playing, because if you run out of archers, you're in for a bad time to say the least. Are they stuck on the staircase or something? Whatever's happening, we can easily see tons of them they're facing the wrong ways. This is absolutely perfect. Oh, be careful. I'm trying to be in like a, a, a cross guard. Overwatch. I'll protect my archers from rogue enemies showing up. Oh, what was that? I think there's a catapult somewhere, but I... Oh, there it is. Wait, I got this. I moved out of the way. <laughs> I was going to try to get an awesome headshot there. This staircase is the MVP of this entire battlefield. It's, it's absolutely perfect. This is what core strength looks like if you work out every day, everybody. You can just walk up ladders using the power of your core. It's looking pretty... Oh, there's a gap. <gasps> Are we in? Don't bug out on me. I'm in! I've done it! Let's try and make a hole for the rest of my allies here. I like how they're just ignoring the guy with a giant reaper sword, killing everybody in the back here. <laughs> oh, don't worry about him. Yep, we're fully in. It's over. This space is mine. This guy's really tiny. It's currently day 123, and it's gone pretty well. As you can see, if I zoom out, it looks like we kind of already own nearly all of Atania. Though the reality is, I've only captured the city, so I haven't completely gone crazy and got everything. I'm going for the cities first, because they are the by far the hardest things to capture. If I get rid of them, the rest should hopefully crumble quite easily. Now, this last one, the actual capital city of Britannia itself, I must say is probably the hardest one to take over. It's got absolutely amazing setup. I might show some clips of me trying to take it earlier, but I'm going to see if we can actually take down the catapults first and go for the final attack. And maybe then we can actually finish up Britannia quite quickly. Now, of course, it's only been, what, 25 odd days or 22 days. I must admit, it's gone more quicker than I expected. <laughs> I'm actually kind of surprised by myself, but... Things will probably slow down because as time goes on, you get more and more allies that want your attention. You get, well, just frankly, more territory to control at the same time. It gets a lot harder as time goes on. Hopefully, if I keep getting myself Britannian recruits, though, and more lords join me, we should be okay. At least that's a hope so, anyway. The capital city is in sight. I have all my trebuchets ready to go. Should we try and fire some of them? Now, there is, I think, two breaches or at least one. You can see it over there. Actually, what have an idea? Everyone, stand still. Don't worry, but I got this. Let me do it. Out my way, peasant. Oh, is he gonna hit anything? He hit the top. Impressive. I'm gonna aim for that. There's a big hole in the wall, and I'm gonna see if I can shoot something into it. My last shot. Go! Come on, land a good hit. Perfect. I mean, I gotta say, catapults are way better, but still, we're getting some pretty good shots there. Everybody, follow me. Everyone, follow me. 
Now, the enemy has absolutely hundreds of archers, absolutely everywhere. Some may say it's a pretty bad idea to run up to them without any armor or shields, but it's okay, don't worry about it. I'm gonna just get my guys to set up and start shooting back. Inventory, get towards the main gate. Everyone move, move, move. Now, I hope my guys will keep on firing for now. How am I so lucky? I'm just like dodging everything. I don't know why. There's a random man outside the base. Wow, he's got some pretty powerful armor on. How is this guy still... Oh, nope. Oh, that guy hates me. <laughs> Wait a minute, I feel a bit blue all of a sudden. What's going on here? <laughs> bada bee, bada bar. Anyway, uh, guys, let's start shooting inside their fortress. They're not even using their shields. It's perfect. Wait a second. Where did my arrow go? Ah, it's one of those uh, magic shields. Oh, no. No, 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 no. Guys, help me out. You don't understand the cause of the siege defense. <laughs> They're coming to us. Get them, guys. Now, I was hoping to shoot inside a little bit more first, but this also works as well. Okay, I think we've got enough, everybody. We're going to go with the full force. There's only 257 of them left, but I think my guys are just way better. Wait, guys. Guys? Ah. Uh, this might take a while. <laughs> Mas, get through to the battle. I'm in! Oh, I'm level, level up in ages. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, no, my HP! Kill him! Oh, no, there's like They haven't seen me. Yeah? No, they saw me. They saw me. No, 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 no! Get into cover! Please don't kill me. I've, I, I have a family now. I don't know what's happening now. There's like a giant squad of archers just... I was executed. Can we do like attack cam? Wait, where did that? Wait, where did the rock go? I was gonna follow it into combat. <laughs> we may never know. Do you know what? I, I'm feeling kind of blue again. There's some weird voodoo magic. Is this like a new infection? Is this like a? Is this a new DLC for 2024? The blue plague. And that is that. I think we've won here. There might be some guys stuck in walls again, but it's not a problem. We can just retreat and auto-resolve it. And I have just captured the final city of Britannia. 156 renowned. I also, I think, before or just after this battle, I have now become a higher clan rank, which is great because look at my capacity. It's absolutely ridiculous. Oh, actually, can I just take all these units? It's, I still have room for more. It's absolutely great. Look at all these buffs. Royal Guard, Clan Tier, Quartermaster. It's looking great. It's, it's gone somewhere. I'm going to take all these guys prisoner as well. But I've got to be a bit careful when I get rid of them. Because we might accidentally uh, get rid of some of my beautiful Beans to be. So now that I've gone through and captured all of the cities of Britannia. The next stage is going to be the clear up stage. Which basically means I've got to go around and get all the castles. This can potentially take a while. I'm actually going to just get rid of my armies and let them do their own thing. Because I think some of them are big enough that they can create their own armies. And they can go and attack their own castles. I can probably solo a castle with the size of my army. Behold everybody. I have found myself an upgrade. And even better than that, it's a kilt. Now, I what is my new thing? Oh, look how expensive it is so... 59 armor. What was it before? 51. I mean, it's not that much more amazing, but it is an upgrade. And also, I feel way more battalion now. If only I could find a really cool helmet, though, because this does not really... I look like I'm a hockey player. <laughs> I don't fit in at all. I've actually just unlocked one of my favorite skills. Improviser. Party skill leader. Negative 25% loss of troops when breaking into or out of settlements. It's going to save me tons and tons of troops as I break into siege defenses, because I do it all the time. It's actually a really easy way of just destroying large armies. So with this, we're going to lose way less troops and be way stronger. I've also just put even more points into intelligence. We have so much at this point, but we're not even near the end. Hopefully I'll get there one day, but for now, we're trying the best that we can. As to my focus points, I'm not really sure what to do with them at this point, to be honest, because uh, anything over here is too inefficient to level up in a way. And these two, I don't trade ever. <laughs> Nor would I want any of the skills in them. I might do some roguery. You never know. Might get some good perks later on. I think there's some that like reduce the chance of people escaping prison. So that might actually be a good shout. It's always some nice poetry when you manage to get the Legion of the Betray to betray who they're leashed to. Which kind of sounds a bit weird, but you think they would be a bit more uh, loyal when it comes to fighting. These guys, another mercenary clan, probably going to betray me at some point, but for now, it's okay. I get even more units for my glorious army. I'm in. 
I like it when no one defends parts of their castle. I just stroll in and it's all over. But actually, this is my first castle capture of the entire video. I'm actually going to be trying to run around and open the main gate in a second. Whoa, be careful, buddy. Why, hello. Okay, there's a few peasant -y guys, but it shouldn't be too much of a problem. I am, after all, a master fighter. Actually, I'd say that I've only got 20 skill in two-handing, but still, you know what I mean. Hey, friends, I'm one of you, right? So, can you please not try and shoot me? i got to say, this new armor is working out. Wait. Are they helping me? Yes, let your brethren in. We're all battalions here. <laughs> Charge, everybody. Are they going to come inside? They are. This is perfect. I like how they haven't fixed the old um, open gate thing yet. <laughs> my men are inside. It's too late for you. I am running away from my life, by the way. The Stop following me. Don't I haven't cookies. Leave me alone. It's over. We're inside. The glory of the Bane will be everywhere. Hey, buddy. They're not even... They're so confused. Like, why are our friends attacking us? <laughs> You're on a battalion. Who are you? There's clearly some mercenaries in here somewhere. I actually think there's a mercenary lord. If I can capture him, I might be able to convert his entire army over to mine, like the other ones. Wait, is that him? This guy looks important to me. No! No! No, no, no guys, guys. Don't leave the cut. No! What are you doing? Okay, it's fine. I'll go back. <laughs> no, wait, no, no. Wait. They're confused. They're clearly very confused right now. We're not sure what is happening, but all I know is that we've probably won at this point, so it's okay. Retreating to keep... I never get to do these. I always get killed in a stupid way. Damn it. It is actually day 131. Uh, uh what? Damn it, guys. <laughs> Who's Kanar? Screw that guy. I'm going to take him down. So I was going to say, I made much progress between the last 10 days because I had to keep stopping to go and defend people. I think I lost Senon at one point. I had to go recapture it. I lost like another place. I had to go and recapture that. It's been a bit of a nightmare. I will say though, I will say things are going pretty well in general because we have actually more troops than the Batanians now. I've pretty much just parasited away their lords one at a time into my glorious Bane Dominion. Uh, though I have yet to see an allied army appear though. I'm looking forward to that because we do actually have some pretty powerful lords. We got like, um, what's his name? There's some powerful lords in there somewhere. I can't remember all their names, but they're in here. Why, hello, friend. I bid you peace as well. Would you like to perhaps surrender to me and become one of my vassals? Are you actually the man I'm looking for? No, it's Samar. We need to find Samar, everybody. It's fine. It may not be the guy we're looking for, but we'll find him one day. Uh, ooh. I like how I've been round upgrading my equipment over time, but just round. Wait, I've got two options that are exactly the same. What one do I want? This one's uh, this one's lighter. What one fits better, guys? You reckon this one or this one? I reckon I feel more regal. And yes, my character looks absolutely awful. I've got myself some Imperial gauntlets. I got Batanian uh, chest and foot. I have a Azari cape and a Valandian helmet. The only thing I need now is a Kuze shoe or something, and I will be the most multicultural man the world has ever seen. But not today. We'll get there one day. Anyway, I'll take all this with me. Thank you. I need to get more loot, by the way, because I've been spending so much here on recruiting lords. We just can't get any more at the moment. So, But anyway, yeah, so things are going pretty well. Um, guys, I'm trying to record an update here, and you keep attacking me. What are you doing? <laughs> So as I said, progress is slowing down a little bit because of all the random attacks. I do hope that my armies will come and assist me at some point in combat. Because when they get rolling with the backup clans running around the camp, it's going to be great. But that hasn't happened yet. Above from that though, we're going to carry on trying to finish up Britannia. It shouldn't take that long. There's what, one, two, three, four, five castles left. And then once that is done, we've done it everybody. The Britannia is gone and I will now be Britannia. <laughs> It is day 148, everybody, and this, Lanark Hen, is the final Batanian castle we have to capture. Everyone, get ready for the siege. Everyone, start shooting. Oh, no. They realize their mistake, and they actually... They killed my heroic line breaker. No. Rolo. Let's try and get rid of some of these guys on the walls first. I've been doing this a lot. I've done, like, six or seven castles in a row. I have this down to a T at this point. I simply just walk over to this ladder. Watch as it slowly rises. Help me, brother. And then go and open the gate. It's simple as that, everybody. I didn't even need to technically do that because uh, we got a lot of archers right now and eventually the archers will just win. Oh, <laughs> that guy got singled out. I was... Oh, hey, buddy. Wait, whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, bit close. 
Hey friends, don't mind me. I'm actually just a vacationer. I'm a tourist. I'm here to see the sights. And by the sights, I mean your gate. It's time for an inspection. Now, there's actually a high chance the gate's already going to be open by the time I get over there. But we'll have to see. They just dodged like some weird... Have I got a catapult? I haven't built a catapult. Oh, hey guys. Ah, wait. I don't... It's already happened. I've won. Uh oh. Wait, whoa, whoa, whoa. I'm victory. No, no, whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> no, what have I done? Run away. They opened the gate. That's what I was trying to say, but I kind of got ganked. That's it. You guys back off. You guys leave. Get out of here. And for people calling me out for cheating, um, I'm using Bandlord mode. I just have really good armor. <laughs> okay, trust me. Armor's pretty powerful against peasants. Men, spread out. Destroy them all. I mean, if the, if the militia had maces, it would be a different story. Luckily, they haven't got maces. Oh, there's a champion over there. You got it, buddy. I believe in you. But I had to ask why you went in via the ladder if you could have just simply walk through the main gate. Oh, wow. That was like a shotgun blast. Victory. Batania is destroyed. At least I hope so. There was actually three sieges going on at the same time when I finished this. So hopefully nothing was captured. If it wasn't, we're know in a few seconds because it's going to do a thing. Are we ready for this? <laughs> it's happened. Batania is mine. So what this basically means is that one, we're a badass. And two, I am now at war with tons of little clans, which you can't even see because they're not actually kingdoms. If we look down here somewhere. Where is Gortash? Bane Dominion at war with... One, two, three, four, five different clans. And we're also at war with some mercenaries as well. But I don't care about that. That's fine. So I now we've done this, though. I Does it actually kill off? He's not dead, is he? Oh, how do I spell his name? <laughs> there he is. Are you alive, buddy? Oh, is this his clan? Oh, he changed his emblem. He was so distraught by his failure. He had to change his emblem. It is actually day 150. And I need to ask a question, everybody. I need to know if people out there are playing the 1.5 beta, or 1.2, sorry. How does it work when factions are destroyed? Because I'm kind of confused. So, of course, we are still at war with the remnants of battalions. We are at war with four or five clans. I can make peace of them for 100 grand, or around like 100 grand. If I do this, though, I can't seem to recruit these people into my faction ever. They spend the rest of eternity rundering around the wastelands of Calradia doing absolutely nothing. Am, am I missing something here? Is there a way to recruit them? It seems like I should have actually just waited, convert all the lords over, and then finally destroy the kingdom. Because at the moment, I just have a bunch of random lords running around doing nothing. But let me know in the comments. Am I missing something? Have I made a giant blunder by not recruiting Lucian, Meldir, and other lords in the realm? Or should I have just waited and uh, got them all to join me when I could have? Who knows? Let me know in the comments, though. I think we'll just have a quick look at my kingdom, by the way, because we're about to start the Volandian campaign. Right now, you can definitely say it's equal. We have kind of the same amount of stuff. If you look at the skill here, we have ourselves slightly more towns and exactly the same amount of castles. It's probably because I already nicked some, by the way, before. <laughs> I already own two Volandian cities. Wait, do they just have randomly more than everyone else? What's going on there? Anyway, there is a ton of enemy lords and they actually do outnumber us. I got to men mention as well, most of my... Factions are actually mercenaries. Only I've only got three real vassals and three temporary ones. Because these guys will betray me at some point. At least they used to before the beta patch. They will betray me. It's going to happen. I like how there's been a battle somewhere and 14 people die. How did this one man kill 14 people? That's what I want to know. Bring him onto our side. We'll, we'll get him as a consultant. So I'm probably going to be doing what I did with Titania. I'm going to just do a Towns Creek. We're going to call it that. Let's go for that. I'm going to go through and just attack every single city one by one as an unstoppable force of nature until there are only castles left. As we saw last time, castles are very easy for me to capture. I took over all of them in around 15 to 20 days. They're very easy. I could do it by myself. It's not a problem. Also, we have our very first army running around the map right now. 500 units, not exactly amazing, but he might be able to take out a castle or something. You never know. As for my army... It's time to call the Bannerman. I'm going to get a big ass, <laughs> big ass army. Not too big, though, because we want to make sure we have enough units to uh, defend the lands and stuff as well. But I will call my allies and we will ride to war. 
It is actually day 155. I'm going to be heading over towards Sargok because it seems the Valandians have come out in force and are trying to take me down. Now, of course, we are kind of equal in strength, but they have armies that have not really been at war for very long, so there might be a lot of them. We probably got to be pretty careful here. As for the conquest front, though, in the last four or five days, I managed to capture Rovolt and this, whatever this one is, Ossian. And my ally has actually managed to capture Veron Castle. So we're already making great progress. Though, of course, if they capture these two cities, we're kind of just breaking even here. So that's why I'm running over there to see if I can stop them. I actually dropped my army to increase my speed. I might just be able to save this city, but I'm not sure. Quickly! I did it. Wait, how bad is it? Six defenders left have survived. Now, I would normally break in if I'm not that confident, but uh, <clears throat> I have a lot of units in my personal army at this point. I think I'm going to be fine. Uh, we're going to go into an army battle. I hope that's not too dark for everybody on the video. The battle has begun. I actually didn't realize how close we start to the enemy, so they're actually just over the hill over there. It's not looking good for us so far. Everybody spread out. Prepare yourselves. There's a lot of them. Okay, I'm going to get my guys going in a big old formation. Everyone stand behind. Get ready. Also... Cavalry, get off your horses and join the actual army. We got this. Now, I was want to mention that nearly all my cavalry are actually just Philandian champions. <laughs> or some kind of noble cavalry unit. I only have the best in my army. Well, apart from these guys. These guys are pretty good. So, fortunately, they have a lot of archers over there. I'm not sure what formation that is. Is that a circle? No, it's not. Okay. I'll get my guys to move in. And I'll get the archers to get a bit closer as well. And hopefully, we can start returning fire. Look how glorious this square formation is. I'm kind of worried about the 150-odd cavalry <laughs> that's going to be attacking us in a second. It's going to be interesting, to say the least. Defend yourselves, guys. Archers, return fire! Luckily, they're skirmishing, so we can just easily just dispatch them as they're standing out in the front like that. I have a lot of archers, though. <laughs> Some may say we have too many, but I'm not one of those people. Oh no, oh, I've got to be really careful. Of course, crossbows do not care about armor. I could have like 100 armor values. They still wouldn't care. I would still be absolutely destroyed by them. Move around, guys. We're kind of being blocked by the... They're coming. The cavalry's on its way. Prepare for the charge, men! Oh wait, they, they backed up. Wait, what's happening? <laughs> I don't know. It seems the Valandians are very confused right now, but the cavalry charge has begun. Even if it's at a snail's pace. Oh, they're actually right, they're right in front of me. I can barely even see that right now. Maybe flying at night wasn't the best idea, but I had no choice, everybody. It was, I wait till morning or Sargot falls, which is not a good thing. You've got to be careful with the giant horde of crossbow at the back there, but I think we can get in there and take them out. I've got to remember to actually capture all these random um, noble units as prisoners because they can be our new best friends in the future. I, 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 don't, I can't actually see what I'm hitting, actually. It's, it's so dark right now. <laughs> My banner's fallen! Unacceptable! I will hold the bannermen to the victory of Bane! I'm gonna get myself killed, aren't I? <laughs> this weapon works as a one-handed sword? I didn't know that! For the glory of my nation! It seems everyone's putting- Whoa! Don't run me over, sir. Wait, why are there still so many cavalry? Victory! The Vlandians didn't have a chance. That's a lot of renown from a field battle, I gotta say. How many of them did I capture? Oh, these guys kind of like me. I wonder if we might be able to recruit some of them. With that, though, I have just rescued one of my cities. Oh, I just captured all the barons. <laughs> all the barons. What? There's so many of them. Uh, okay, this is great. The more barons we capture, of course, the higher chance I have of recruiting some more allies. And we need allies, because if I'm going to hold all these cities, we're going to need a lot of backup to do it. I actually just found myself an actual upgrade from my armor body. We have now got a Sturgeon Helmet. It actually looks... Pretty random. <laughs> but I now have even more head armor than before. Is this a uh, dented? Oh, it's actually damaged. How was this damaged? But still better than my previous gear. That's crazy. But we're looking pretty tanky right now. 50 head armor, 60 arm armor, uh, body armor. We're a, we're a big boy. We, we can take a few hits, let's say the least. I've actually just broken in to assist another siege from the Valanians. They have actually over a thousand troops in this battle. But... Because we have so many defenders, they're only allowed to spawn 350 at a time. So, not looking good for them. I kind of want to get down there and help on the ground. But we'll just shoot some dudes for now. Oh, wait. We have catapults. I, <laughs> I'm i going to the catapult, everybody. Out my way. Oh, it's got the fire pots as well. This is perfect. 
Up, look, guys, I will be in control of this. Thank you very much. Take this. Okay, I made this. <laughs> I kind of want to go for the... Um, do you know what? I, I want to go for the actual people, not the ram. Same place as before, slightly higher. Fire! Okay, I may have... Um... Oh, it's looking directly at me. It's going to be so easy to shoot. Keep loading, buddy. We got this. <laughs> it got directly in the face. I bet he wasn't expecting that. Maybe I should be aiming at the ram, though, not the people. Okay, let's aim a little bit higher. Fire! Oh my god. That's how you level up. <laughs> how many kills did I just get? 26. Bit casual. I think we need to do more damage to this guy. He's getting quite close. I'm running out of um, aim down at this point. Let's go for this. Too low, too low. <laughs> I'm overcompensating too much. If I if I shoot in exactly the same place as Lepore, it should be fine. Low quicker, buddy. We need like a third guy. Oh no. I think we've only got one shot left to hit this thing. Dude, we have to hurry. Wait, we we might do it. I think one more shot and it's down. We need to crank it, man. Crank it. <laughs> I need like a crank it song. Is there a crank it song? Let me know. Ram down. Are they going to just charge in now? I think they are. Can I get any of these dudes now they're kind of splitting up? And I'm not going to get these guys. Oh, no. <laughs> Can I actually hit them if they... Wait, where's the ladders going up? I might be able to get some really cool kills here. Well, I am a bit concerned about this giant wooden spike in the way. I'm sure it'll be fine. Hey, I killed that one man. That's good enough for me. I'm going to take one of these pots as a souvenir. Thank you for helping me out. Let's go. Why, hello there. Giant group of enemies. Oh, there's rocks here anyway. This place is amazing. Take this. Oh. <laughs> wow. Um... Oh, that worked pretty well. Your eyes do not deceive you, everybody. We have literally just found 381 troops to recruit. I... <laughs> uh, I'll take them all. It'll be fine. I'll figure it out later. My, <laughs> my army is now 664 dudes. Maybe a little bit over capacity. Only a little bit, though. I feel like we can integrate them properly. Uh, I feel like the garrison's about to get a lot larger. How do they have so- they must have killed an allied army or something. This is absolutely ridiculous. I've just found an amazing opportunity. This man right here, for some reason, likes me. And he's actually an extremely powerful lord. Clan tier 5. We've only got one other guy like this. He can command armies. He can bring in hundreds, if not even maybe a thousand troops of his power of his clan if it's full tap power. And he has a city to his own name. I'm going to try and recruit him. I reckon we can do it. I'm going to offer to join him. I've actually got like half a million pounds right now. I'm pretty sure no matter what he asks, we should be able to afford it. Is he 100% chance? We've done it. You gave an oath. I don't care about your oath. <laughs> You're joining me, friend. We are going to lead the universe to success here. 43,000 pounds. Uh, 430,000 pounds. Totally worth it. We have ourselves a brand new buddy. And I think we've got to go and take over Sharus now. We already own it. How amazing is this? It's not even been... What? It's been a week since the war started. It's 100, day 157. They've only got two cities, no, three cities left. It's absolutely unbelievable. And some jitter stairs. I'm not even sure what to think about this. Everyone's just jittering slowly towards their death and probably falling for the most part as well. Imagine if I had a bunch of like fire pots right now. It would be absolutely amazing. I can probably kill entire hordes of them with one fell swoop. Uh, as for the rest of this battle, though, this might take a while. You would not believe who I just found. Durpot, the King of Valandria, is the only guy defending this part of the map. I'm going to try and take him down in single combat. Hope I don't get killed by a bunch of crossbowmen in a second, though, because there is uh, quite a big army behind him. I will destroy you, Durpot. Excellent. Enemy down. Has it lost me the siege, though? Don't shoot me, guys. I just killed your king. Leave me alone. <laughs> It's time to... I like how only he was guarding the main part of his entire nation, which is this gate. Welcome, friends. 
The Battle of the Hills. Day 167. We are tainting down one of the Valanian armies. It's... <laughs> it's a bit of a weird one. Everyone literally just rolling down the hill at this point. Uh, uh oh. Don't kill me, sir. Oh, leg hit. I don't know how you get killed by being um, stabbed in the leg, but it worked out for that guy. But then again, I did see Troy once, so it does make a bit of sense. Even though it's only been around 70 days since the start of the video, my wife has managed to give birth to her second child. Many scientists are absolutely baffled by this extreme rate of baby making, but we have found a way. Enver Gortash, a chosen of Bane, has unique abilities. And that is pretty demonic if you think about how this is working out, but it's okay, don't worry about it. This second baby, I don't even know if it's a boy or a girl. I don't even know if my first one's a boy or a girl, because I just frankly haven't looked at it. <laughs> I, I feel bad, let's have a look. What are my children? Let's have a look. I have Griff and Edwin. I don't feel like I like those names, so we're probably going to change them there. But um, there you go, we have two zero-year-old children. Apparently... Griff, are you a badass? He's daring, merciful. How do we know a baby is this powerful? <laughs> how, do, how have we done this? And, oh no. It's the split between good and evil. This is actually the start of the Jedi Star Wars style uh, storyline here. This is actually the start. This is the first Sith. This is the first Jedi. We found a way. Um, <laughs> how has this happened? He has a reputation of being unreliable. It's like, I told the baby to change his diaper and he didn't do it. It's unacceptable. What's Griff's reputation? He has a reputation of being brave, but merciful. He once found a bug in his bed. He saved it from another bug and then let them all go free. He's a great kid. 10 out of 10. He actually bought my car for me as well. He's just all round a great child. Anyway, uh, I probably shall name these chids in a little bit and we can go from there. Hey, how's it hanging, buddy? Uh, I don't, there's a really extreme amount of barbecue going on down there. I wouldn't look, don't worry, but we're getting ready for the summer vacation. So everyone's just uh, going full speed here, trying to get stuff ready. I don't know what is going on with this weird siege, but we are slowly winning it. And Kai just points out, we are chasing down this man right here. He's actually, is he trying to leave? Wait a minute, he can't get out of that. Wait, guys, he's escaping. Someone stop him. I've just found a massive upgrade. Look at this thing. It's better in every single way. How is this even possible? Lorely long sleeve Ron scale shoulder guards. Behold. I look ridiculous, but I love it at the same time. I have, I got even, how's this? I'm just ridiculously strong at this point. Look at my armor value. I'm already shrugging off most hits that even come near me. This is going to make it even worse. Imagine if I get full lordly gear. Can I get like 80 or 90 armor? Would I just then be able to tank like trebuchet shots to the face? If we do get that, I will try it. Don't worry. But still, I'm feeling like a complete monster at this point. And also very regal. I mean, you okay, flag? <laughs> What's going on here? There's so a giant bee flew into my flag and just knocked it apart. I feel like the more gold I get, the more powerful I become as well. Um... It it's actually day 176 right now. You're just catching, end of having a little bit of a nap. We have been campaigning vigorously throughout the Valandian conquest. There's actually not much of Valandia to capture at this point. If I zoom all the way out, you wouldn't even know Valandia even exists anymore. We have wiped out every single city they own. They are trying to take stuff back, but we have vast amounts of armies trampading through the land taking everything back that they might be able to capture this one by the way i've really captured three times it's a giant pain anyway uh as terms of general progress i think we are already the largest faction in the entire world at least in Colorado, anyway the, the map we can see of the world if i look here i have 13 cities and 13 castles if I look through the other nations of the map, they don't have that. <laughs> now, you may argue that some of them may still be a little bit more powerful than us because they have more troops on the ground. But I'm pretty sure if we just don't fight for a day or two, we would easily be able to beat out the number and be the strongest faction Karad has ever seen. But what's next? We still have 25 days to go. To make sure that I am truly the strongest kingdom of all Kairadia. I'm going to carry on the campaign. Wipe out the Valandians. Maybe even recruit a few new lords. Because of course if I want to get the most troops in the game as well. I need more people leading them. 
So that's going to be my attempt for the rest of this. I'm going to be running around, making money by selling stuff to various cities, and then trying to get myself a ton of new followers. There are many, and I mean many, clans left in Valandia. They're absolutely all over the place. Now, I must admit, most of them do hate me. <laughs> so not great, but some of them might be persuaded to join me if I can just actually get to them. But we're going to try our best and we're going to see if we can get ourselves some more followers here. Are they spawning some of these guys in? This, this clan uh, rank one seems a bit low if you ask me, but it is what it is. If you're curious as well at this point how my character looks, he is a distorted fellow <laughs> to say the least. He just has still massive amounts of various skills to do with leading parties. I have tried to diversify a little bit, get some roguery in there, maybe even a focus point in trade. Though I must admit, because towns never have any money and I have, what, half a million pounds of loot in my inventory, I've not been doing much trading. <laughs> but we're been trying our best here. Um, I don't know how much more I can level up. I mean, as you level up more and more, the character takes longer and longer and there's less things for you to actually power level at this point. But we're still trying. We might be able to get a few more uh, levels here and there and maybe even get even more intelligence. I would love level 10 intelligence if I can get it because then I can get some really cool abilities like this one. But that is going to be us having to see if we can get that far. I think all the clans are dying right now. Are they? Are they? Oh, no. The game just killed off all the clans. I feel awful. I, I thought that I was going to recruit them early. I, I couldn't figure out, by the way. They did this. Are they gone? No. Where clans, Batanian, eliminate. <gasps> at least Rugen's okay. No, at least give me a chance to recruit them, game. Cow dog. I wanted it. I would have loved it, by the way, if I could have recruited all the leaders of all the game and then have like a giant leader army going through. Oh, that's so sad. But weirdly, the children, are, what's happening to the children now? They, the children love me. Um, who looks after these children? Never seen before. Oh, he's lost. It's fine. He's just He's gone to the pub or something. Don't worry about it. He'll, he'll come back. Uh, well, there you go. The Britannian forces that remained have just been wiped out. And, uh, wow. <laughs> I guess I want to try and recruit as many as possible for ki finish a kingdom off. Because otherwise they just get thrown away and just gone forever. Maybe they've gone to, like, a new land. They've become the explorers. They've gone off to the new world and started colonizing, like, um, what would be the Caradian version of America? I don't even know. We're going to call it <laughs> the Kerica. It's a completely different location. And, yes, yeah, a terrible name. Ooh. It's so beautiful. I don't even know what some of these things being thrown are. All I know is it's definitely working. Well, everybody, it has been 100 days since the start of this video. And have we expanded our glorious Bane Dominion? I went from only a single city and a single castle to being by far the strongest faction in Calradia. I don't think anything else can even come near me at this point. Now, we have got... The most castles and towns we have 13 towns and 15 castles there are still some valandians holding in there one of them is about to be captured and the last one all the way over here i will leave alone so i want to try and capture some more units if we carry on this series but it has gone so well if i look at the stats once again we actually have by far the most towns no one else even comes remotely close to the size of us and also for castles and something I did not expect to achieve when I started this video was actually doing the troops as well. Because normally it takes a while to recruit good units and lords. I did it anyway. We just managed to defeat the Northern Empire and I have a lot of clans. Now I must admit, we did kind of get most of our power from the mercenary groups. Which I don't think you should technically be able to um, ask to join you. But we did it anyway. <laughs> it worked out great, don't worry about it. So we actually have 7,184 troops and the nearest guy to that is 6,541. So we are the strongest faction in Caradia, and we've pretty much wiped out two entire kingdoms in a matter of three months, which I think is um, pretty impressive. <laughs> I'm actually surprised it took me, um, I got so far in the time I did, I thought I was just gonna be able to knock off the victory, but no, nope, it went better than I could have expected. Uh, just to prove that it is actually on day 200, or as I say in actual terms, 196, I believe, because I started on like day 97 or something. We've done roughly a 200 days. It's, it's, I've not gone over it from the last bit. You actually see where I started down here. I've been doing this for a while, by the way, if you can't tell. Day one, 
Where is it? Day one is down here. There you go. As we went through, you can probably see that I leveled up a little bit. I gotta say, this part of the game, the levels kind of stop coming to you. I mean, it does slow down dramatically. I've been playing this for two days to do this. The reason it took me longer is because, well, you have to make sure you spend your time efficiently. I can't just go around and do crazy things here. I have done bits. I mean, we leveled up like five or six times. Any level 30 at this point, the evil child was born, of course, which I'm actually terrified for in the future. <laughs> the evil child of destruction and doom will destroy us all. I did kind of just slow down at the end because I just wanted to recruit a bunch of new lords. But yeah, there you go. Day 197 absolutely smashed out the park and i've absolutely loved recording this now of course at this point what's next everybody if people like this content maybe want to see a third installment of this series perhaps i can try and take over the rest of the whole of caradia in 100 days though i must admit that might be a bit too much to handle because there's a lot of caradia left to take over and um, if it took me 100 days to take over all of this I'm not sure if I can do the rest of it in 100 days, but maybe like 165 days. That means we'll have a whole year in the game. I took over the whole place. You never know. Apart from that, though, everybody, I think it is time that our glorious hero, Enver Gortash, may take a little bit of a break. He has been fighting hard for the last two days, and he needs to take some slumber. And look at this beautiful capital city I now own. This is probably one of my favorite Lord's Halls in the whole game. Pencanoc, it is absolutely beautiful. Though I do want to question where that ends and if there's actually a door up there i don't know but still it's pretty amazing about that everybody thank you for watching if you want to see more of this remember to leave a like leave a comment let me know if you want to see more and perhaps we can see this man go into action once again thank you for watching everybody as always please like subscribe and comment below and i'll see you next time bye